Coffee's been real good. We're just hanging out by the river. Brad's doing a coffee video too. So we're setting up all sorts of good stuff. He's got a lot of creamers and all the different coffees. Brad, you had enough coffee today? Oh yeah, we've had you coffee, pretty man. Good? Yeah, coffee, 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 lots of coffee. Do you need any more coffee. coffee? Yeah, let's have more coffee. All right, yeah, I'm gonna drink some more coffee. I might soon put some creamers in. He's got tons of different creamers. We're gonna show you guys all. Creamers, we you got gotta go to- We got coffee. We got yeah, like Francisco yeah. coffee. We got uh, Columbia coffee. We got, uh, we got coffee. Hey everyone, glad to have you here today. We're talking coffee with Brad. Hey guys, Venture Brad here, I'm doing the coffee thing with Phil. So we're gonna compare our two different ways of making coffee while camping off the grid. I went out and got this uh, French press, uh, it's Stanley. It's just all in one, you don't have to uh, use a filter or anything. Like I said, the coffee's in it. Um, Went out and got this thing. I love it. One thing I like about this being Stanley, you can check this stuff out. And I'll go make more coffee out of it here in a bit. Looking good. I'm getting excited. <laughs> coffee is actually something worth getting excited about. So yeah, I, the, the screen, the one trick with this press is you don't want to get too fine of a grind because it, it kind of impacts on the screen. Uh, but yeah, you just slide it down. You'll feel it hit the water, and then once you hit the water, you want to go slow till it finishes. I kind of force it through there. And inside, beautiful, beautiful coffee. Ow. Pour that nice into our cup. What? That's crazy. There's a cup of joe. And... Here's some dribble. Looks delicious. So yeah, you pop it, pop it back out here, and that's kind of what you end up on the bottom. And I normally just run the sink through from this side. It washes that out down the bottom of the sink, and then you end up with not much water and some grounds in there. So what I'll do is I'll set it sideways like this, let it kind of drip off for a minute, and then dump that juice out kinda, and then the grounds I could just scrape into the trash or into my burn pile or whatever, and we're golden. But yeah, that's my, uh, Look at that. my fresh cup of joe, guys. Nice. That looks delicious. It I didn't really good. know it worked quite that way. Um, but now I wanna go show you how I make a cup of coffee in the Aero Press. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's do it. <laughs> well, first we need to start with some water. And I like this little, cute little dilly bob there. I could probably make coffee out of that, but I just boil water with that. Um, when I don't have the Camp Chef stove oven set up, I got a little slide out one burner that I just put in inside. That's honestly primarily for coffee. Uh, if I don't have this thing set up, if I'm you know, just in an area briefly. The other thing that I like is cold brew. And Ooh. this is actually meant for a totally different container. Um, this is in an Arctic one gallon. It doesn't really screw on. So the reason it's in here is because I smashed the glass beaker that was on the bottom um, after a couple days. I knew I shouldn't get glass, but anyways. This works uh, when I get to a camp spot, 12 to 24 hours, you want to leave these grounds in there. Um, and the beaker was a little bit bigger, so this is more like coffee tea, but it's actually really, really good. Uh, you can drink a lot more of it. So yeah, cold brew is really fun. It's less acidic um, and you can heat it up. So it's always a cool option as well. But uh, we'll focus more on the hot coffee today and uh, get her heated up. We're getting a little bit of rain here, Brad, but uh, the show must go on. We will make our coffee. I just remember, got an awning. And you just kind of whoopity whoop. Ooh, oh shit, my water's boiling. Well, you better get that on now. This on again. Go, 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 go. Wicked, 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 wicked. Come on, come on. Yay, 
rotting. No more rain. Uh, and look, coffee's coming too. See, people think rain is just like, oh, oh dude, it's fun. We're having a blast. That's right? the excitement. Woo! Okay, so, all right, coffee's boiling. So we got to take the lid off of our. Oh, oh! I got to get that thing off. Brad, your video went a little smoother. I think I put too much water in there. <laughs> it's not my first time, I swear. So, how you work the AeroPress. It's very uh, simple, I'm a professional. So this is how I keep it um, stored. So I pull this little guy out. Down here, there's a paper filter in there. Um, I also have a reusable filter, like a metal one here. Um, but I kind of like the paper and the mainly because I'll show you how easy it is to throw everything away um, and clean this thing. So take this little piece, put it on the Yeti like so. And okay, then, so that's your Yeti coffee cup you drink out of. Yeah, and you just put it right on there. That's one thing I like about this is you don't um, you don't dirty up a whole lot of stuff. Take one scoop, they give you this. Uh, this is like the AeroPress little scoop. Put it in there. Kind of level it out a little. And then we take our super hot coffee. I have these little gloves. I use these on the cast iron and stuff. They're a little bit less convenient than like a mitt you grab, but it's kind of fun and feels very secure. So then I'll take this here and just pour it over like so. You pour it up to the number four line. And as I'm pouring, I go really slow and I just mix it around. We'll let that sit for a second. Not very long though, and I probably should let it sit longer. There's a lot of different ways to do this AeroPress, but it tastes really good either way. That's the great thing about it. Um, but we'll just let that chill for a second. Also, I'm using this Gavalia. You wanna use a, a fine grind um, with this AeroPress. But I really like this Gavalia, like it's like a darker roast. This is just a different kind of Guatemala, whatever. I'm not like a coffee snob, like like Brad and I were talking about. Like I don't, I'm not that worried about it, but I do like a darker roast. Um, and Gavalia is just, they sell it safe. Right? So after like maybe 30 seconds or a minute, which like I said, you could go longer, but it's all dripping down anyways. So I press it in and then you can see it's just, just pressing everything together. As it goes down, you'll see some steam maybe rising out of these. These are kind of the vents. And you can kind of feel the tension. I could push it down a lot faster, but I just feel like going slow is better. And then as you get to the bottom here, you'll kind of smush, smush the grounds in. And I'd like to pull it up and do one last little thing for good measure. And there you go. There's your cup. Nice big dark cup. And then this is all I do uh, for cleaning. I actually love how easy that is. So I take this off here. This is already pretty clean. You gotta rinse this with water, of course. And then I do a good pop. Everything pops off. I rinse that. Um, I put another paper filter in here and I put that on and we're ready to go for next time. So the cleaning of this is just awesome. Like Brad said, I don't use any soap, just water. Um, I just love how easy this thing is to use. So we're pretty much done. We'll wipe that down and enjoy our cup of joe. The other thing I do once I um, clean this off with some water, I usually just let it sit out in the sun to dry and let the, uh, the rays do their thing. So yeah, Brad, what do you say? Let's enjoy our cup of joe by the river. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, it's good though. I usually just drink it black too. I could put some milk in. I might put some milk in this. Maybe sugar. Maybe some chocolate. No. That's sugar. Funny. Sugar. Maybe some cinnamon. I don't know. We'll see what we'll do next. Dakota came to visit. It's too bad I don't have a dog hammock. But they don't make a dog hammock. <laughs> All right, well, that was a, a fun little experiment. I'd say I really like Brad's way of doing things. I didn't really know that it was um, 
you really as easy as just kind of dumping the coffee in there. You don't have to use a filter or anything like that. And I didn't know you'd let it brew for three to four minutes. It actually made me think, shoot, I should probably have my coffee brewing a little longer. So that's fun. <laughs> yeah, um, the same thing. Uh, the biggest thing that struck me about the AeroPress, like, I kind of like it for the fact that it's, there's numbers. It's not like, ah, oh, about this much water and stuff like that. The AeroPress, it's a, kind of this refined product, the scoop, the stir, that's got numbers on it and everything. Uh, it seems like if you want to be ace about making your cup of joe uh, and you like running things by the numbers and like having a ritual and stuff, the AeroPress would be the way to go versus my Stanley, eh, it seems about good enough, cowboy style. So yeah, but they both, both make tasty, tasty coffee. For sure. So yeah, be sure to drop a comment if you have any questions on, you know, how we do things or suggestions for future videos. Um, I know, go check out Adventure Brad on, on YouTube and Instagram, doing tons of cool truck camping adventures in the old 7.3 over there. So, uh, yeah, really, as always, the question is, are you down to mob? Woo! <laughs>